uh, store brands, aspirin, band-aids. Do not buy the band-aid brand, mm -hmm. buy the store brand. Aspirins, very same thing as Bayer. Uh, if you ever doubt, go ahead and look on the back because it's required to tell you what it is. It's the same thing. Uh, save tons of money that way. Tons of money. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. got something here. See this orange label on this right here? On the verge. See that orange label? Yes, baby. You're the I got a lot of them. <laughs> this is funny. This, I love this. Ingles, um, and I don't know which other stores might do this. I Clover. just kind of know. Does Clover do it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, man, this is good. <laughs> uh, they mark stuff down. Yeah. That's sometimes right. it's not out of date yet. Sometimes it's out of date tomorrow or whatever. But if you'll read carefully on here, it says this stuff's good for a week after the expiration exactly. date. So, you know, it's not as if I'm going to die. I ate it. It was out of date. <laughs> but what it is, is half price. Why would you ever pass anything up? It's half price. Anyway, um, to cover up things, irregularly shaped things, you can buy a pack of these. It works so well. Um, like when you slice cantaloupe or something like that in the summer and you need to cover it up to put it in the fridge and you bowl with plastic and, and the plastic wrap or stick or whatever, you, you just pop this cap on it and it's airtight. And I even do one better than that. Um, I'll put a piece of saran wrap over the cantaloupe first and then put this on it and this keeps it good and clean. And I don't have to worry about it being dirty. Okay, I'm going to tell you about a couple of new products. Y'all know about the Scrubbing Bubbles bathroom cleaner? Yes. Yeah. All of you know? Oh, I love that stuff. I've cleaned the commodes today, and I would not be without this. Um, you, of course, take the lid off and poke it, whatever. I bought some, and um, something was wrong with this inner thing. When you mashed it, it wouldn't mash or whatever, and I kept poking it up. Because you put it underneath the rim, you know, is where you're supposed to put it. So, anyway, it was the first time I had used it. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got seven. Mm -hmm. You probably know the end of this story. I finally popped. It popped all seven of it. It smelled good for a long time. I was so upset. I called. I called the company and I said, "What are you doing? It wouldn't come out." And now I got seven in the commode. <laughs> Toilet cleaning machine. G G G G G G G it is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. If you're going to clean your commode anyway, and I hope you do, uh, this toilet cleaning gel will keep it clean longer. And keep it smelling. You know, some things that says it smells fresh, I cannot bear those things. So I, yeah, I had gotten into the I just don't touch those, even the air fresheners or whatever. But this has a gentle fragrance. It doesn't shout at you. And I love it. I love it. And we have a water well, so it helps keep some of the, uh, that rain down, too. You know about the uh, the Glad uh, press and seal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Everybody knows that. That's, you know, Dana, about the press and seal. Yeah, but I'm not real good at making that work. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, uh, the sticky signs. The sticky signs. Oh, you got to rub your fingers around it. Did you work that? Oh, let me see if I can get this going here. And what I like about it is we'll stick to plastic and things that other stuff don't stick to. But you do this, and then you do this because you're seeing it okay. around the edge of it. And you can almost turn it off. But I love the press and seal for certain jobs. It's higher than your uh, store brand plastic wrap. Because store brand so far doesn't make a press and seal, it must be patented or something. But I use this for certain instances that works really good. Uh, okay, the uh, Reynolds non-stick aluminum uh, wrap. That's, uh, and there's a recipe over here for lemon bars. You can't make them without this. I've tried it. You can't get the lemon bars out of the pan. <laughs> It's like here, have a, have a bite. The crust is over there in the pan. <laughs> but if you make meatballs, and I make meatballs, and they tend to stick terribly, uh, you can use this. Uh, um, you can just use it for all. Oh, your casseroles that have a cheese topping, and you put it in the oven and put your regular wrap on it. Well, then you lift it up, and there's your cheese on the thing. It doesn't happen with this. Nothing sticks to this. It is wonderful. Why don't you 
for your foil and pan. Uh, I feel like it is a little higher than this, plus the fact, I was going to tell you, that if you use it for certain jobs, uh, cookies or something like that, since nothing sticks, all you got to do is wipe it down with your dish rag and use it again and again. So it's not used up. Yeah, the store bread, I use a lot of it to save me work. There's no need for me to work extra if I don't have to. Amen. I, yeah, I've been mean, in this too long. There's ways for me to save money. Ah, the best cleaner in the world and the cheapest one. Cheapest. Ammonia. You put uh, ammonia. Ammonia. Uh, you put just a little bit in uh, warm water and it, you can wash your windows, mirrors, whatever. They gleam. I have been so unhappy with the window cleaners because no matter what I used, then when the sun came through, it was streaked. And then I started using this. It may, I don't know if it even says you can use it for that, but you can use it for that. Uh, but it works wonderfully well. How if much you, do you make that, like, if you're cleaning windows? Uh, if you've got a gallon of water, three or four tablespoons in here, and you don't have to rinse or anything, you know, you just do your windows and, and uh, dry them with the scrub. Oh, no, I just, because I, I washed my outside windows today, and I just did that in paper towels. And you use this? Yeah. Way to go, girl. Yeah. And it's inexpensive, too. Because because yeah, right. this is very cheap. Yep. Uh, it lasts forever. And if you've got a week, so. greasy yeah. mess on your stove, if you've been frying stuff, like I've been frying stuff, mm -hmm. uh, you can put this on your uh, soapy dish rag mm -hmm. and go over it, and uh, your grease is gone. It's good for getting it off your cabinets, too, where it collects yeah. on the cabinets. Yeah, mm -hmm. and your countertops, you, it, it is. It does everything. It is. It's good for floors. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, not really. No, 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 no. Oh, and I, I wash my own car and uh, the tires and things. I put ammonia in the water to wash my tires. Oh, speaking of gleaming, you can take your regular old everyday glass fire out of your cabinets. Put some ammonia in your dishwater, in your sink, in your dishwater, and it will gleam like crystal. Mm -hmm. I saw somebody buying a box of rags yesterday at Ace Hardware, and I would say, "Why are you buying those rags? What did you What did you do with your leftover towels and wash rags when you were through with them?" Um, I've got a, a, a stack of them, a large stack of items, mm -hmm. and if you want to get in trouble with me, then you use one or something away thinking it's a rag to be thrown away. It's not. I keep these and, and uh, never ever ever use uh, fabric softener in your wash no. or don't dry them. Don't put them in the dryer. Uh, let them air dry. Now I know everybody can't hang them out on the deck like we do at our house but um, you can air dry them you know, in your laundry room or something like that because it makes them much more absorbent. Your uh, fabric softener makes everything less absorbent. I went to a um, good sized gathering and we took our own dish rags, dish towels, and things like that. And a lady thought she was doing me a favor. And she said, Well, I'll take all the dish rags and the towels and things home and wash them. I said, Well, good, okay. Well, she brought them back to me and it was like, I, I went home and put the dish rag in the dishwater and it just floated because it had so much fabric softener. It would not absorb water. I had to rewash it to get the fabric softener out of it. So it makes it less absorbent. Don't, don't use fabric softener in your rags. And save your rags. They are wonderful. Um, I was going to show you, most everybody knows, I hope you use fresh garlic. I hope you don't use when you're cooking. But uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. You may already know how to do this. Hardest part of me get one of these clothes where garlic gets loose. All right. This is my tiny cutting board. I have a bigger one. But you put it right here. Man, I smell that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, uh, but it's delicious. When you make your stir fry, but you put it right here, that, that gets the skin off of it. It's ready to go. And it's ready to put in this. Ready to go right here in this. Poke it down and hold it over your pan where your um, stir fry is going. Don't put your garlic in right away. It burns easily. It doesn't take long to cook it. Put it in toward the last. Um, 
you can make chicken stir fries, telling you how good the chicken is for so many different dishes. But you uh, put your oil in your pan, not much oil, and cook your um, pieces of chicken, doesn't matter. You can make slivers, you can make chunks, whatever. Cook your chicken and then set it aside. And then your um, green peppers, whatever you, the onions, and the garlic, and don't put the garlic in until later. Then you put that in and cook it, and then you put your chicken back in, and then you mix uh, soy sauce, brown sugar, vinegar, and cornstarch. Uh-huh, yeah. And then put that in there as, as it's getting done. And it is water chestnuts. Yeah, water, water chestnuts are good in a lot of different mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, that's that's how you do that. I use a lot of garlic at the house. I tried to grow it, couldn't grow it, it wouldn't grow, so I gave up. Oh, I want to tell you about this. Um, the, this that goes in your cabinets to keep everything from banging and clanging and whatever. Now, what I really like it for, when you've got an SUV and you're taking dishes somewhere, you set them in the back, you stop and slide in the front. You start off and slide in the back. The lid is clattering. You're thinking it's going to break and whatever. Put this down first. Put your dish on it and it won't go anywhere. That's right. Yeah, it works. Um, I keep it back there for different. It, just, it stays in the back of my car all the time for when I have to take dishes places. But um, do you set Perry on that sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> Farmer magazine, we have a large sprayer that fits on the back of a utility vehicle and it's plastic. And when you go over a terrace, a terrace to use somewhere to sit, but a terrace is a, in a field. Um, when you go over a terrace, the plastic um, sprayer that we spray Roundup with would slide it back, like, like I was talking about in the car, and then it slide in front, it was just ruining it. So I'm, I've got some pieces of this, and it has four feet, the plastic thing does. And made that, so I sent it in and I won $25 for my idea. <laughs> now, I was going to tell you too that when you're in uh, Home Depot, Walmart, your office supply stores, if there's something cheaper somewhere else, all you've got to do, oftentimes you don't have to have an ad. You say, they got this product for $9.98 and your price is $11.98. Will you match that? Sure. You know. Uh, I did that at uh, Office Max when I bought the large desk calendar. Because Staples is a long way from where we are, but Office Max is in Loganville, and, which is not that far. And I told them, I said, well, Staples has got it for this amount. Will you equal it? And they said, sure. So I got my savings. You know, it was not, didn't have to travel. Because you don't want to use your desk the way right. gas is now. You travel all over. You want to be able to save your money where you are and uh, it works let me see if we've about cleared this oh, how could I ever have forgotten thrift mm -hmm. stores oh, oh yes we love yes, yes yes and our thrift sales and our thrift sales ta -da. I wear that nearly every Sunday since I bought it two weeks ago, three weeks ago. But uh, it's fully lined, so you don't have to wear a uh, But anyway, I got that for two dollars. I got the jacket. I've had this forever. This is all for suede. It came from Neiman Marcus originally when somebody bought it, not when I bought it. But uh, I paid a couple of dollars for that at a thrift store. Um, Wednesdays at Salvation Army, we go to the one on Highway 78 past Snell. Mm -hmm. Their clothes are half price. Mm -hmm. And when Perry needs shirts, we go there. And these are name brand shirts. Nearly all their stuff is laundered when you get it, mm -hmm. ready, to, ready to wear. Uh, pretty shirts. I mean, he goes to the barn now, and the goats just go wild. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If you need a desk, if you need a bookcase, 
There's no need to go to the right. furniture store and get it. You don't have to paint it. If you want to paint it, you don't have to do that. But the thrift stores are absolutely fabulous. There's Goodwill, Salvation Army. Um, the church, a lot of the churches have thrift stores. There's a good one over in Lilburn that's too far for me to go to now. So, Dana, check it out. You got it. Oh. Yes! I love that place. I love it. But uh, a lot of the churches have the thrift stores. And uh, yeah. it's a good way to save money. And see, that's recycling. You might as well use those clothes. And I'm going to store and buy more clothes. Walgreens and some of the others has the register rewards. Yeah, what is that? Which are usually crazy, but it works. Um, like, I'm trying to think what it was. Now, salmon, canned salmon is so good for you. Mm -hmm. It has the omega-3. Mm -hmm. It's so good for your heart. And uh, they had it on sale. And it had the, uh, no, it didn't have the register rewards. Something else I bought had the register rewards, which made it free. Oh, it was those Belveda crackers. If y'all haven't tried those, that was new crackers. They're delicious. Belveda, I think it's the name of them. No. They're so good. And uh, anyway, uh, with the with the coupon that I had, and with the sale price and the register rewards, I got them free, the Belveda crackers. So then I went back there and got the salmon that was on sale with my register. It prints out on your mm -hmm. receipt. And uh, so I went back there and got the salmon, and then I got the salmon for 19 cents a can mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. with my register rewards. So it does work. You just have to think about these things, you know. How does it work? What do I need to do to make it work? And sometimes I get confused myself about how does this work? Am I, am I sure it's working this way? So, I love the dollar stores. You're missing a way of mm -hmm. saving money if you don't go to the dollar stores. Now, Dollar Tree, have you been to Dollar Tree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Dollar Tree. <laughs> dollar Tree. I could just, yes. Yeah, I could just shop yeah, there all day long. Hey, I, how many of you know Mama has a blog? <gasps> Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, so about three or four years ago, Mama started sending these emails to to us, to her kids, and to her grandchildren. It was called Granny's Tips. And so our daughter that lives in Montana and then our daughter-in-law kept saying, Granny, you need a blog. Granny, you need a blog. So our daughter in Montana created a blog for her. And it's called Granny's Golden Nuggets of Wisdom. And so this is a card, which you know Mom didn't pay much for business cards either. We sat with it. Hey, I, got, I got something on that. You got it free, didn't you? I, or, well, no, I got like $10 for okay, $500. Yeah, oh, 5000 I think. I know. <laughs> anyway, so this is Mama's card. And it would be great if y'all would go home tonight and sign up as a follower. You don't have to drink the Kool-Aid or anything. You just <laughs> sign up as a follower. <laughs> The good thing is, is once you get home, if you think of some questions, you can post on Mama's blog and she'll answer it. And also, she's on YouTube. I'm too your one for you. Wait, 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 wait. I know Mama won't do it. She's on YouTube with her, and it's also on her blog for Biscuit Making Video. And it's so exciting because people all across the country have messaged her on YouTube and said, I could never make biscuits. I just made biscuits. My husband had three. And it's just people from all over the country, so it's really exciting. And awesome. Gary just shot her doing her cornbread video um, last month. So it's on her blog, but it's also on YouTube. If you go to the blog, you can find it all. And so, um, and blessings is a good thing to have over your head because I know y'all know she is exactly. <laughs> Amen.